Hi. Today in this session, we will be dealing with hypothesis. What is hypothesis? Hypothesis is just a tentative statement or it is a guess which has to be proved or disproved based on the level of significance in statistics. So hypothesis is a, start, uh, uh, is a starting of an investigation. So it explains what is going to happen for, uh, further and how the investigation will go through. It consists of variables, a population and relationship between the variables. Now, coming to uh, the sources of uh, hypothesis, the main sources of hypothesis are previous study, personal experiences, thinking and imagination, then scientific theory. Then, coming to the types of hypothesis, there are seven types of hypothesis. So, the first uh, type is simple hypothesis. So, which is uh, also known as basic hypothesis. It, depicts, uh, it, it uh, just depicts the relationship between two variables. Example, icebergs melt as a result of global warming. So, the cost in, uh, cost in this case is global warming and the effect is melting of icebergs. Now, the second uh, hypothesis is complex hypothesis. Complex hypothesis is multiple dependent and independent variables. So, uh, here, uh, for example, global warming causes icebergs to melt, which leads to significant changes in the weather uh, patterns too. So, here the cause in this case is global warming, but the effect is melting icebergs along with changing weather also. So, it is known as complex hypothesis. Now, coming to null hypothesis. Null hypothesis is just a contradiction to uh, the empirical hypothesis because it asserts that uh, there is no relationship between uh, the dependent and independent variables. So it uh, basically says that the data and variable uh, uh, being tested do not exist. So for example, water has no effect on plants growth. So uh, hypothesis, uh, uh, it is uh, uh, logically verified and as its name implies, the verification process um, uh, entails the following steps, let us agreement, disagreement, uh, different points of view. Uh, for example, uh, an animal cannot survive in the absence of water. So this is correct because uh, all living uh, things, living uh, creatures require water to survive. So, uh, uh, so this is what is logical hypothesis. Then next one is empirical hypothesis. So empirical hypothesis is also known as uh, working hypothesis. So during the formulation phases, uh, a phase it is uh, only an assumption, but uh, once tested, it is no longer just an idea or notion. So it actually change. Uh, uh, it is uh, actually changing in relation to those independent variables. So, for example, um, cotton clothing is uh, uh, preferred um, uh, rather than velvet clothing in uh, in the in the times of summer. Okay. So this is the best example which we can give for empirical uh, hypothesis. Then the last uh, type of hypothesis is statistical hypothesis. So the statistical hypothesis. Uh, a statement uh, uh, could be logical or illogical, but if uh, statistical evidences validates it, uh, uh, it becomes statistical hypothesis.